so much. Speaking from experience this morning, yes. thanks, Stephen. The Treasure Coast really took the biggest hits from this storm, and we saw waves and wind really pick up overnight. Even after Nicole made landfall, that just continued to just get very gusty out there, and we were seeing those high seas as well. Our Cal Califano continues our coverage in St. Lucie County. Caleb, what are the roads looking like? What are you seeing? A lot of water behind you. Yeah, definitely. I want to set the scene here. We are in St. Lucie Village right next to North Indian River Drive right next to the lagoon. So this is a very low lying area that sees flooding even during King Tides. But let me tell you nothing like what we're seeing right now. Believe it or not, I am in a front yard right now. I'm not in a pond and it is completely flooded all the way up to the steps of the house. Now, fortunately, there is no damage inside of that home. That is good news, but the damage you can see in the front yard is pretty severe. In fact, this board right here. If you can see it, that's from a dock right behind me over my left shoulder. So there's definitely a, a lot of damage here, a lot of flooded roads as well. The entire Indian North Indian River Drive is basically a canal. Now cars are trying to go through. Some are able to, some are turning around, but really it's just a sign of how easily areas like this low lying areas and near the water can flood. We actually had the chance to talk to one of the residents here after the hurricane hit. Here's what he had to say about riding out through the storm. It is, and it's really nice down here until a hurricane like this comes. It's fairly low and the tide comes up and it could be a little scary. A little scary for sure. We talked to some other residents. They had their fingers crossed, hoping that that water wouldn't make it through their homes. Fortunately, all the residents we talked to, none of the water did. They're okay. The power is out. The only ones who have power right now are the ones with generators, but they're going to tough it out. They're going to wait for this water to recede. And even believe it or not, there were some manatees that swam up pretty close over where they're supposed to. So they've had some things to look at while they're waiting for this water to go back down. For now, we're live in St. Lucie County. Caleb Calfano, WPBF 25 News.